Hello and welcome to JSA TV Live. We are the live streaming data source for news here at Data Cloud USA. We are in sunny Austin, Texas today on the floor at Data Cloud USA. And I'm Keely Dorian. Joining me right now, we have Naren Dunaram. He is the business development director for Airtel. Thank you so much for joining us and welcome to JSA TV Live. Nice to be here, Keely. Thanks for having me. Him. Well, let's start right right off with some good news. Um, actually, just this week, your subsidiary Nextra by Airtel had a really big announcement about using green energy, something we're hearing a lot about in the data center space lately. Can you just share some details about that announcement with us? Yeah, absolutely. I'm very excited about this announcement. Uh, Nextra data center is the largest data center provider in India, and they have partnered with uh, Bloom Energy to deploy fuel cell technology in India in its data centers and uh, uh, obviously to reduce uh, the carbon emissions and also unlock the cost and sustainability uh, benefits. And uh, to start with, uh, Nextra will be deploying uh, natural gas uh, and eventually migrate to hydrogen uh, without any significant uh, investment in the future. So, so Nextra data center has a vision of achieving net zero by 2031 in line with that uh, they, there is a lot of effort and initiatives uh, with regard to sustainability, you know. So the Nextra Data Center team has embarked on a journey to, uh, you know, deploy new innovative energy solutions uh, in India and, uh, and they want to set new benchmarks uh, in the Indian data center market uh, because India is emerging as, a, as a, a lead destination in the APAC region in terms of data centers. And I'm very proud to say that uh, Nextra Data Center is the first company uh, in India to deploy fuel cell technology, right? And, and also, uh, Nextra Data Center has co uh, committed uh, investments to the tune of uh, 600 million plus US dollars uh, to build more capacities, to increase the capacity by almost 3x uh, over a period of next uh, three to four years time. It's always exciting to be leading the pack, that's for sure. Um, let's take a step back and talk just real quickly about Airtel. Of course, you're very well known across India. For, for people in the US though, for our US viewers who might not be familiar with Airtel, can you just give us a quick overview of what Airtel is and what you do? Sure, absolutely. So Airtel is a, a leading uh, Indian uh, telecommunications company, uh, service provider uh, with global presence and uh, so Airtel uh, generates about 14.5 billion dollars, US dollars, in, in terms of annual revenues. And uh, it's broadly classified into two groups. One is the consumer group, and other one is the B2B group. Uh, on the consumer side, Airtel is present in about 17 countries in South Asia and Central Africa. And here's the fun fact, you know, Airtel today has about 491 million uh, wireless subscribers. And that makes it the second largest wireless operator in the world. On the B2B side, uh, uh, Airtel is the provider of choice for uh, uh, the top enterprise customers, government customers, and also the SME customers in India. And uh, on the global front, you know, Airtel caters to some of the top global carriers, uh, OTTs, uh, you know, across, across the globe. So that's, uh, that's on the uh, global business side. And Airtel operates at a very massive scale. Uh, in terms of infrastructure, uh, it operates about 12, uh, owns and operates about 12 hyperscale data centers in India, and, and it has about 120 edge data centers. On the network side, uh, Airtel uh, owns about 355k route kilometers of uh, uh, fiber, terrestrial fiber, and about 365k of subsea uh, fiber uh, network, connecting about 200 of its uh, global POPs. Right, so, so Airtel uh, offers a wide uh, portfolio of services ranging from data center co-location, managed services, uh, network connectivity, IP transit, CDN, collaboration services, uh, cyber security, and also uh, cloud solutions. So, so Airtel is very uniquely positioned uh, in terms of owning uh, data center assets, in terms of owning network assets, and also the eyeballs, both B2B and the consumer eyeballs. So that's the biggest value that we, we bring on the table for our global customers. 
definitely a wide footprint and a lot going on. So you were talking a little while ago about sustainability and a lot of the sustainability efforts that Airtel and, and Nextra by Airtel have. I, I, I would just like to ask you generally, because we're hearing a lot about um, sustainability in data centers here at Data Cloud and then just across the industry right now. You know, there are some markets that have very stringent policies that data centers are having to put into place, California for one, here in the U.S. and then of course other markets globally. How do you think that is setting up companies like yours and others in the industry to innovate and do better and, and put better practices into place and how does that just help us overall? That's a great question, uh, Keely. Uh, in fact, uh, sustainability is the biggest, uh, it's the hot topic today in the data center industry. I see in this conference a lot of people talking about uh, sustainability and uh, yes, uh, as, uh, as more and more data center companies are uh, inclined towards deploying sustainable solutions, I think the regulators are becoming more and more important uh, uh, to the data center industry. And yes, California has always led the nation in terms of uh, developing and implementing uh, new uh, sustainability policies. And uh, yes, Singapore also was an early adapter of uh, uh, renewable solutions, but they, they did the, you know, the biggest thing of switching from fossil-based to uh, you know, uh, the natural gas. And of course, the Europe, European Union also passed a lot of regulations in the recent past, I think in 2020. Uh, you know, they came down quite heavily on all the data center companies and they've even kept, kept a target of going uh, carbon neutral by, I think, 2030 or something like that. I think these stricter regulations are definitely having an impact on the data center, uh, data center industry as a whole. And uh, coming back to our market, you know, uh, this is definitely spilling over and uh, the Indian government has uh, got an ambitious plan of going 50% uh, clean energy by 2030, right? That's quite an aggressive uh, timeline, uh, but I think we are already headed in the direction. And, uh, and also the data center ecosystem in India is adopting quite well to this change. And uh, now companies are looking at alternative uh, uh, renewable energy sources. They are getting more efficient on the power utilization. They're optimizing power consumption. And they're innovating new, innovative technologies, and of course, they're trying to reduce the PUE, uh, right? So, so yeah, definitely, uh, it's having a strong impact on the data center industry as a whole. And uh, and Nextra itself, as as I mentioned earlier, you know, we have a vision of going net zero by 2031. And you're being recognized for your sustainability initiatives, among other things. I should say congratulations because Airtel was recently um, named as a finalist in the Global Carrier Awards for the best ESG or environmental, social, and government governmental, excuse me, initiative, as well as best security. So congratulations! And can you just share a little bit about why you were nominated in those two categories? Yeah, sure. Uh, uh, so, uh, so the, as you know, the, the, this Global Carrier Award is happening in London next month, and uh, we are very excited about it and we got nominated in two categories. One is of course the ESG initiative and uh, Airtel has taken a number of uh, initiatives in, on the ESG space. Uh, we have uh, implemented some of the global best practices in our uh, uh, data center uh, and the network uh, uh, businesses and, uh, and uh, of course we are all the time innovating, trying to uh, bring in some new uh, innovative technologies, the fuel cell being one, of, one such example. So all that combined, I think uh, we have got a spot in the nomination and I'm really looking forward to this event. And the second uh, nomination is on uh, the security innovation. You know, we presented our ISOC, which is the, uh, the, 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 the security knock, uh, ISOC uh, capabilities. So we have rolled out a next gen uh, ISOC platform uh, and we have something like about 10 plus offerings for our enterprise customers. So this is something very innovative in a market like India. So that's what got us into the nomination list. So I'm very excited about it and hopefully uh, we should see something coming up next month. Well, where can we stay tuned and how can we just generally keep up with what's happening with Airtel? Okay, so you can, uh, for Airtel, uh, you can go to airtel.in uh, oblique global business. And uh, for data centers, you can go to airtel uh, www.nextra.in. Well, great. Lots of uh, great things happening. So congratulations on a good year so far, and we'll watch out for plenty more to come this year and into next year. Um, in the meantime, thanks so much, Naren, for stopping by JSA TV. Enjoy the rest of Data Cloud, and thank you for tuning in to JSA TV Live. And as always, happy networking.